Okay, so I want to explore like how I became a Karen. Maybe if I understood how this happened, I could let go. Because I really want to let go. I really do. It's like, it feels like there's all these layers to letting go. And it's the ultimate let go would be death. So maybe there's no plateau. There's no plateau. It's just more layers of letting go. But really, it would be nice not to fixate on things that I can't control and just like be okay with what is. Really, 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 like, uh, yeah, that would be nice. So, how did I become a Karen? Mm. Well, I feel like I was lied to. I was taught to be nice by somebody who was not always nice to me. Um, and, I mean, I guess I could have questioned the belief system sooner. I could have um, not faked it. I could have not pretended I was okay with things that I was not okay with to the point that I became, you know, bitter and resentful and uh, angry. Um, yeah. It's like I lived a lot of my life pretending to be nice. Like you're supposed to be nice or leave. Like you're not allowed to, um, to be aggressive or to show, um, I don't know, the negative stuff. Like, if you're not allowed to express the negative side of things, then you just, you you can be an, a jerk, but like a really nice jerk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that thing. But then like, <laughs> it's this veiled evilness. Uh <coughs> made me a Karen. Um, mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just lazy. And I, uh, I don't have, I lack patience to, like, I don't feel like I should have to explain basic things to people. Um, maybe, I don't know. To let go requires opening your heart up and having more compassion. But if I've been a bleeding heart my whole life, I bled it all out. I ain't got nothing left for you, man. I got nothing left for you. <laughs> oh, I, oh, how did I become a Karen? How did I get here? Um, I really want to let it go. If I could just get it all out, maybe it would go the fuck away. <laughs> um... How did this happen to me? Oh, I, know. I know I could be a better person. But um, I'm just definitely not a nice person. <laughs> I'm not nice all the time. Sometimes situations require that you're not nice. Like, you know, but like, maybe I overdo it. You know, maybe not all of those situations... <laughs> It's like I twist it around. I twist, I can so twist logic on end, justify bullshit, and um, yeah, I don't want to be a jerk. I really don't. It's hard to be authentically a good person after you have years of experiences of being sort of um, fake nice. So what is really nice? How do you really treat people with compassion and with love and stay open? And um, it's a challenge. I think it's a challenge for everybody and people approach it differently. I mean, um, it's good to know, realize you don't have all the answers. Like you don't need to trust all of your thoughts because, you know, they're not all useful. Not all useful. So letting go. How do I let go of being a Karen? Is it just letting go of power and control? Is it that? I mean, I don't have to be right all the time. But the problem is, is my mind will twist things around. And I do want to be right. Everybody wants, you know, to feel like they're doing the right thing. But... When you're claiming, oh, I'm, I'm being right, sometimes you're, it's just a proclamation. And it, it, 
it's just so fake. People are so fake. I don't believe people. But I'm nobody to judge. That's the thing I got about, like, my, I did the whole year of observation without judgment because I observed myself being an asshole. And I thought maybe I might want to look at that. Maybe I can learn something about myself by observing myself with a little less judgment. And, uh, yeah. And it's really hard to change behavior. It's really difficult to force a change. It's like, um, you really have to take a step back and just, it's, it's so many little things for me that uh, I just wish I could let go of the need for power and control because I know there's so many other ways I can function. The problem with that is that you, you have to have some power and control for the sake of safety for, for, for several reasons. It's just, um, it's not just one thing for me. It's many things. And I feel like uh, I, I'm being attacked from different angles and forced to just learn. Like, I'm so grateful for the lesson. And I want to learn it because... I'm tired of retaking the same course over and over again. I want to get it already. I really do. Can't get it by osmosis. It, <laughs> like, I sometimes I just I do get it, and everything makes sense. And other times I don't, and I'm bitter and resentful again. You know, it's like it's not always gonna be um, clear. It's not always going to be clear and easy. And like, what if I was do like a 12-step recovery program for parents? What would that look like? Like how, I don't like necessarily the 12-step program, but I need some sort of framework to get me out of this hole. So I'm willing to grab on any rope somebody could give me at this point. It's really, really. So I'm powerless over my addiction to control my surroundings. <laughs> I really am. I'm powerless. Uh, yeah. I know. I could hide in my home and stay safe. <laughs> I could do that. That's a choice. <laughs> but I, I, I definitely don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to hide. So that means I re I'm required to learn some better people, people skills. You know, it's not like, I don't have any people skills. I just have ones that I can develop a little bit more. One step at a time. Okay. 